All right, guys. <clears throat> Don't mind the Adam LZ in the background. Today I have in this little box potentially what will make my Audi the rarest of rare for Volkswagen products from the early 2000s because if my calculations are correct, this is going to get rid of my check engine light. Yes, I said that. This Volkswagen Auto Group product from 2000 Will soon, hopefully, knock on that wood though, soon have no check engine light. So, we we turned it off in the last video, but we're actually remedying the problem, so hopefully won't come back this time. Also, uh, as you guys know, it's got a little bit of an oil leak that I haven't addressed yet. Luckily, um, our friend Jason over at Engineering Explained, before he moved to Detroit, gave me this whole big box of oil. So. That's actually what I'm using to change the oil on the Audi, and there's even another five quart bottle in there. He gave me all this gear oil that's like you can't even actually buy. They just wanted him to review it. Must be cool being that cool. First, we're gonna top her up. Thanks, Jason. Say it with me, everyone. Yeah, yeah, drink up. Doing this without a funnel or net, I know it's a risky behavior, but it's one we have to do. All right, good, yeet. All right, so here is the canister EVAP valve, purge valve, check valve, yada, 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 whatever you wanna call it. Here is my new Bosch OEM one. I got it from Amazon actually, because I have a gift card for Amazon. Because, as you may be aware, my GoPro Hero 7 Black got destroyed while I was in Sun Valley and they refunded it, because I paid for the insurance, they refunded it in the form of an Amazon gift card that I didn't really want. Oh no, what was I thinking? There you go, throw that back in the rag pile. All right, so this is easy enough. It's just vacuum lines. We just uh, take these off, unplug this, swap the new one in, and then we'll clear the code. Well, my eight millimeter ratcheting wrench is missing and God knows where that's at. So that's a good way to start this. Ba -ba 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 -ba. De -de -da -da All right. This was, someone got this at Jalopy Jungle. Why? This was 30 bucks. That's also kind of a bad sign though, because it kind of implies that someone tried to fix this before and this didn't solve it, although this is a pretty common failure point. So replacing it with a used one isn't exactly the best tactic. God, why is that so hot? Plus if they got it off the wrong Audi, Let's see, 421-15909. This is a different part number. So let's see, maybe they did get it off the wrong Audi. It should be as simple as doing that and tightening everything back up. Um, a good determining factor here is when you have this fault, it, uh, it struggles to start a little bit. So if it wants to start up better, that's one cue that we've perhaps solved the issue. Ah! Now we're gonna get out our V-Peak scanner. If you guys missed it, they did a discount code for you. If you want 15% off of one of these, they're already only like $40. So uh, click the top right and then go to that video's description and you can get yourself one of these for dirt cheap. All right, so we're gonna open it up. I'll show you the code. I think it's 0441 or some combination of those numbers. Total codes, one, read codes. Okay, a P0441, Evaporative Emission System Incorrect Purge Flow. So we're going to go back, we're going to erase the codes, 
and click OK. Please turn ignition on with engine off. Oh, damn it. Alright. So, as you can see, our check engine light is gone. I should have filmed that it was there in the first place, but yeah, it's an Audi, so you shouldn't have any trouble believing that it was. You saw that it was reading when the check engine light was on. So, now what we're gonna do, I gotta go pick up some screws for the license plate in the back. So let's uh, take it for a quick little drive and see how it does. All right, update. We've gone like 20 miles and it's still not back. I'm going to put my phone mount up and then I'm going to turn on Grubhub for a little bit. And that's uh, probably the best way to actually drive it around and see how it's doing is to make money while I do it. So let's go for that. I just bought this molding tape and I was like, oh, I don't have anything to cut it with. But for some reason, every used car I buy comes with one of these in it. All right, hell yeah, on our way to Costa Vida. Boom. All right, I kind of got swamped with orders, but here we are, still no check engine light. I don't know what the mileage said before, but uh, last time I cleared it, it came back on really quickly. So thus far it's looking pretty good and it is starting up way easier than it did before. So I can only assume that means we fixed the issue. All right guys, the moment of truth, it's been, I don't know how many miles, probably at least 30 or so. Boom! Still no check engine light. I turned the turbo timer off too because as cool as it was to have one, it was a little annoying every time you get out of the car having to wait 10 seconds. That lens is pretty dirty, so I can only imagine that the lens flares you're getting suck. But at any rate, that means that I am now the proud owner of the rarest Volkswagen or Audi from the early 2000s because it has no check engine light. It's been alleviated, and that's fantastic. And it runs a lot better too. Well, it starts a lot easier. So that's pretty sick. Tyler, I've done it. I've done it. My Audi is now the rarest Volkswagen slash Audi product from the early 2000s you could possibly have. Is it because it's silver? It, yes, mm -hmm. but also it has no check engine light. Yeah. Guess what? Well, you don't have to check anymore. It's the engine. The engine. It's so stupid because I turned it on, and, like the engine light was on. I looked, and the engine was there. Mm -hmm. So people are gonna judge us for our recycle pile, dude. We're saving the planet. Yeah. In our house. Well, there you go, guys. Yeah, the planet's in our house. It's for the turtles. Yeah, save the straws, turtles. Shit. Ooh. All right, well, it's, it's flotation devices right there. You got to dump it in the ocean. Well, if it gets stuck in their nose, then they can breathe better. I thought it was for the um, cocaine snorting turtles. And yeah, now they, they, have well, no they, they like the straws. They don't. They're against this whole stop yeah, using like, thing. Like what the hell? Like they can't make things to sniff with. So right. Yeah. Well. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! It was just flashing too, which means, you know, like major mechanical failure. Please pull over. Let's see what we got. One code. Oh, the O2 sensor's back. It was flashing when it was misfiring there. I need a VCDS. Um, we're just going to erase it for now. See if it wants to, uh have this issue again I think it's tripping O2 warnings because it's misfiring and because I'm not using like an actual uh, Vagcom or VCDS scanner it's just kind of generic reading shit um, I think we're just running into a cylinder misfire I'll have to hit up my buddy that has a Vagcom see if I can come scan it today That's Why are you gonna make this happen? I even brought you a nice, nice box. What box you bring? Oh, my box. No, it's you my. You brought me the same box. It's my box. It's my shit in there. Well, yeah, it's your shit, but it's my box. My GK Tech Shifter. So, you know, I was just bragging about having no check engine light. Give me that shit in that box. 
Hey, guess guess what came back? <laughs> and you know what's funny? Um, it was sputtering on throttle. You've never done that before. And the check engine light started flashing. So I Google what that means, and it says, if the check engine light is flashing in your Audi, it means you've suffered a major mechanical failure. Please pull over and have it towed to a local Audi service center. You know what the check engine light was? O2 sensor failure. I was like, yeah, major mechanical issue for sure. I think, I think it's just misfiring and doesn't know what to do because I'm not using an Audi scanner. Anyways. Thank you guys very much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Add me on Snapchat at BigB1011. Follow Tyler's Instagram. What's your Instagram? FZ09Guy? Yeah. Alright. That one. So you can get an MT10 with all them Instagram followers, right? Yeah. Nice. Hell yeah. Alright. If you want to see a picture of your car featured at the end of one of my videos, send me a picture of your car to curseforeverhelp at gmail.com. We'll see you guys in the next video.